this one. Graphing an absolute value function with shifts and compression stretches. Okay, first thing to notice is that because it is x plus 2, that means that the standard v shape of the absolute value is going to be shifted to the left two units. So I'm just moving over here two units to the left to negative 2. Next, the plus 3 on the end means we're going to perform a vertical shift of 3 upward. So 1, 2, 3. And that's going to put us at the point negative 2, comma 3, which would be therefore located right there. Okay, now here's the magic. Since absolute value is really effectively two lines, it's a piecewise function, this piece right here indicates the slope of either side of those lines. Well, one is positive and one is negative. But if we just look at that negative 3 and treat it like a slope, what would that mean? That would mean that from this point right here, we would have to go down 3, right, 1, 2, 3, and over 1. And on the other side, we would go down 3 and left 1. So just by plotting those two points, I can now create my absolute value graph. It's going to come down on that side, and it's going to come upward on this side. And that's the graph of this absolute value. So you can use the blue and the green to get where that vertex is. And then you can use the number in front of the absolute value to indicate a slope-like concept. So why don't you try one on your own? Pause the video and see if you can do this problem. Okay, assuming you gave it a shot, tried it on your own. What's our horizontal shift? Looks like it's to the right one unit. What is our vertical shift? plus 2, up 2 units, putting our vertex right here at 1, 2. What is our pseudo slope, our fake slope? Is slope of 2 over 1. So we're going to rise 2 and run 1 and go to there. So I kind of went up 2 over 1 and then do the same thing on the other side, up 2 and over 1. So those points will give you enough to be able to draw the V that is the absolute value. So up on that side, or sorry, down on that side, I guess. Up on this side, and that's the graph of your absolute value.